to celebrate the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, they released a pizza. You know what? I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you. I, yeah. <laughs> you think I was actually going to go with that? Yeah, I tricked you. Get pranked. Welcome. The Gamer Man's Lounge. Awaken to play. But no, seriously, here is a food review video. And, of course, we're reviewing a frozen pizza. Now, this frozen pizza, well, lineup of frozen pizzas, we don't know if it's a brand or just a limited run of something. Now, whatever it is, it is to essentially celebrate the release of the latest movie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Okay, so, yes, it is the latest... Anima it has a stop-motion animation style. I don't know if I could call it stop-motion animation style. But I do know it's similar to the Spider-Verse movies. Yeah. I'll, we'll, we'll just stick with animation. So yes, the latest movie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, happened. And now they're releasing a lineup of frozen pizzas to celebrate the release of the movie. So, yes. Now, out of the two that I did got, they're both sausage and pepperoni pizzas. I didn't bother to grab any other flavors. I know there's the regular pepperoni, and I did some research online and found out that there is a Mac Attack pizza where the topping is essentially a macaroni and cheese pizza. I am not kidding. All right, this should... This should totally concern you, but what well, that totally says, here is the front of the box. And the back of the box carries some fantastic activities. And it has a cutout arts and crafts thing. Oh, actually, you can punch it out, which is actually great. Now, it's a turtle shell. with It's a turtle shell pattern crust. Look at interesting. So we'll go ahead and check and see what they mean by that. So Nickelodeon is doing this which is very interesting. So, yes, please recycle, no duh. And, okay, they made it obvious. Preheat oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 16, 18 minutes, rotate the pizza halfway through for a more consistent bake. Okay, I will make sure we do that. Okay, pizza power. And we got Ralph. So this is where I'm going to go ahead and punch out the Oh, you can just punch out and not worry about cutting with scissors. You can just punch out the... Not bad. Pretty good. Yep, you can just punch out the taps and just fold and you can make a standable. Hey, it's easy. No scissors required. So that way, nobody won't be running with scissors. Huh, too soon because I just reviewed the Postal 2 expansion. My previous video reviewed the Postal 2 expansion. But then again, I uploaded three things on TikTok consisting of Quake gameplay. Yeah, I see the turtle shell shape. It's uh, the, the shell is like emulating the back. Okay, I see that. See, simple. Ugh. All right. Oh, well, you look at that. See? Things happen for a reason. This is the... So that's what they mean by turtle shell. It's supposed to emulate a turtle shell. Not bad. Okay. Um, does it add anything to the pizza? Probably not. It's just some artistic gimmick to celebrate the new movie. And celebrate turtles. Mutant turtles. So bend forward, bend backwards. Okay, so here we go. Bend it forward, bend it backwards. Here we go. Look what I got. I'm going to stand it on top of my on my hand. Look, I'm trying to balance it. See, it stands. Look, my air conditioner turned on. Now, people would rather make their own pizzas. There's a reason why, and I'm going to say this 
guess what? Will you look at that? Oh my goodness, will you stop? Stop. Stop. I have to rearrange the toppings. Why can't you... Why can't this movie release in the fall? Why can't the new Mutant Mayhem TMNT movie release in fall season? So that way the pizzas can launch in a cooler weather so we don't have to deal with this. It's ridiculous. Now I have to figure out, rearrange the toppings, and... Go fish. I'm going to go ahead, go through the oven instructions. Okay, preheat. So here is the slices of pizza. I wish I can... You know, actually, I can do this. Now, yeah, I awkwardly cutted the pizza for some weird reason. And I will go ahead and say I did overcook, but not too bad. So I want to ensure golden brown. Okay, I know... People would prefer melty. I prefer melty, too. So, yeah. Okay. So, I'm willing to go ahead. You know, I'll show the bottom. The toasted shell. That's kind of perfect. Still flexible. Not too bad. So, yeah. Here we go. And... Trust the turtles. Cowabunga. All meals come with a drink. It's lemonade. And yesterday I drank a couple of glasses of strawberry lemonade. Boy, did it taste good. This tastes good. Okay. But I do miss drinking the strawberry lemonade. If I can make lemonade into strawberry lemonade, it would actually require real strawberries. But hey. <sighs> Going back to the topic at hand. When I first spot my eye on those frozen pizzas, I was like, okay, trust the turtles. I trusted the turtles. I got the pizza. Two, the sausage pepperoni. Both, both boxes I got were both sausage and pepperoni. And after devouring it, I will say three out of five. Cowabunga, it's a three out of five. Okay. So here's my say. I have had better, especially better frozen pizzas. I'm not saying it's bad. It's not bad. It could have been better. Okay, which is why I have it at a 3 out of 5. Okay. Not bad. Okay. I've had better, though. So, yeah, maybe there needs to be some improvements whenever another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie shows up out of the blue. Maybe we might see redemption, but until then, we have DiGiorno. I would like to bring up that other brand name, but I'm having a hard time pronouncing that or ensuring that I'm pronouncing it right. But DiGiorno go for that. Or you could just go get a pizza from your local Little Caesars and that'd be better. Or you could go to Pizza Hut or whatever pizza restaurant you prefer. But we can we can go for better. Okay. 
yeah. So with that totally said, I like the fun stuff that you could do in the back of the boxes. I like how you can just punch out the stuff and fold the things. Not bad. I am impressed. But just because you're celebrating a movie doesn't mean you have to go do this. Because this felt... Because really, this frozen pizzas, or frozen pizza, because I just tried one, this frozen pizza felt like a rush job. It was just rushed. To just, okay, let's cash off as much as we can from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. We're cashing off the, we're cashing off the latest movie and the hype involving the latest movie because... Oh, it shares the same animation style because, oh, maybe the creators of the Spider-Verse touched on it. I don't know. Uh, but... Maybe, uh, maybe it would be best if you could score a collab with DiGiorno and do that. Because if it has to be the case, you're going to have to leave that up to dessert. Or leave it up to another pizza restaurant. I had to cut, I have to cut myself off real quick. Like, why, like, have you collabed with, I, well, I know Little Caesars did a collab with Batman. Yeah. Just collab with DiGiorno. Or collab with Little Caesars or Pizza Hut or Domino's. Man, speaking of Domino's, I I really do miss their little bread bowl pastas. I would like to make one. That would be cool. Bread bowl penne alfredo. That'd be dope. But yeah, uh, can we do better? Yeah, we can totally do better. But with that totally said, they're not bad. They're not bad. Okay? They're a three out of five. I'll go with that. And with that totally said, that's all. And here is when I go into commentary mode and cut off the outro. Now, I went and heated up another one since the two pizzas I got were the same thing. I decided to cook the pizza with no overcooking. I made sure it was better than last time. Now, the videos I recorded of the revised pizza may not be 60 frames per second. For that, my sincerest apologies ahead of time. Sadly, once again, I had to rearrange the toppings. I mean, where did I find the pizza lineup? Walmart. I will get more onto that later. But for starters, they were really generous with the toppings for both pizzas. The toppings were not even less, so that's a good thing. The cheese, when not overcooked, did slightly improve. However, there really needs to be a bit more pizza sauce. Not saying to go hyper generous, but I do say a bit more of the pizza sauce. Again, I will repeat myself and say that the pizza is not bad. But I had better pizzas, especially frozen pizzas. Whether you like DiGiorno or Screamin' Sicilian, if I pronounce that wrong, I'm sorry. The new brand I tried out months ago, that's the Screamin' Sicilian. Again, if I pronounce that wrong, I'm sorry. But you would like those two brands way more. I also want to note that I did some online research, and they seem to also show up in Kroger stores, so there is a potential that they will show up. Now, Walmart's not the mastermind. Food Story Curations. I doubted them. Yes, they're actually a food corporation that comes out with brands. So, Food Story Curations, the people behind the frozen pizza lineup, celebrating the movie. So, that's them. This lineup isn't the only one they did when it came to movie collabs. They also did Minion Chicken Nuggets and Jurassic Park Dino Chicken Nuggets and Chicken Strips. However, if the ideas of anything with Minions I mentioned triggered PTSD with some of you the way it triggered mine, I'm sorry. Sincerest of apologies. 
For those who don't know what I'm saying, don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Also, back to the pizzas. They have cheese, supreme, pepperoni, and the Mac Attack, where the topping is literally mac and cheese. Yeah, CeCe's Pizza Antics. However, my overall rating, Cowabunga, still stands. 3 out of 5. Let's start doing a little better. To be honest, let's not stoop to rushing them out to cash out on the latest hyped movie. And that's the thing. There are better pizzas to be had. Any time to end this off really quick before I ended up accidentally predicting the future technically, okay? So this is where I have to cut myself off. Sorry, let's get going. So that said, that's all. I will be looking forward to you in the next video. Peace out.